connecting event grid to Azure Functions. Now it's very common for applications to talk to each other. And in this diagram, I have application A and it's calling application B. In fact, application B is going to take some period of time to process the information before it returns a response. In these scenarios where that response could take seconds or hours, uh, application A can actually use something called event grid. It's essentially a queue. So application A sends a message into the queue and the queue will invoke B as soon as that message comes in. And in our uh, demo today, we're actually going to use an Azure function calling it a logic app and it's going to go through event grid. So let's actually take a look at what event grid is. Event grid connects an event source to an event handler. Uh, there are lots and lots of event source types uh, that are available, but in all cases, they call a topic endpoint. Uh, and on the subscription side, event grid allows the message to fan out. It can go to a single event handler or it can go to multiple in parallel. For this demo, we're going to create an event grid topic and a logic app, and we'll connect those two together. After that, we'll create an Azure function, and then we're going to test the whole thing out by sending a message through the entire system. So I already have a resource group here for this demo. Now I'm going to create an event grid topic. I just search for event grid topic. There it is. We create it. Region is going to be US East. No, nothing, nothing special here. Let's just create it. OK, so while that event grid is being created, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a logic app. And it looks like my event grid has uh, been created successfully. That's good. So here I'm going to give it a name. US East. We're going to use the consumption plan. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a storage account. The next thing I'd like to use LRS. That's the cheapest option. So I've got my topic created. So let's go into my logic app. Start off with a, uh, with a blank slate. And I'm going to choose an operation. So here I'm going to say event grid, event grid there. And here when a res resource event occurs, I'm going to sign in. Now that I've signed in, I select my subscription. And my resource type is going to be event grid topic. And my resource name. Now, at this point, I'm going to parse that message and get JSON out of it. And for the schema, I'm just going to say there's a um, ID. And when I get this message, uh, I'm going to write uh, uh, just a, a blank file into the storage account. So I go to Azure File Storage, and I'm going to create a file. Let's give it a name, or connection one, which is a good suggestion. And here, my storage, the one I just created. It's going to ask me for uh, the folder path. So I'm just going to say test. And here, I'm going to pick ID. And the content, the body, body, basically whatever content came in. Right, and that's it. Save it. So now that our logic app has been created, let's create an Azure function, which is going to send the message to the event grid. Now this is going to require a lot of cut and paste, and so we're going to start by uh, through the Azure Docs. Um, I've got this page opened up to the reference section on event grid output, and I've selected Python as my language. Here, uh, we basically need to copy this this binding section and hook it up. So that's it. Let's try that. I'm going to create a new function. My function's created, and I'll go to the function JSON, and I'm going to add that parameter, the binding. And the thing to note here is the name, uh, because we're going to need that. Uh, so now we come over to our code, and uh, well, let's get rid of all of this. We don't need any of this stuff here. Okay. 
So here we need to define this in uh, this parameter. And again, we'll go back to our docs. This the way it's defined is this. All right. So this says when you call the function, uh, there's this parameter called output event. It should have the data in it. By the time the function returns, Azure will have done all of the plumbing needed in order to send the message. We'll go back and get the code to actually send the message. All right, now we need this date time. Um, so there's an import that I'm missing. There's that, save it, we'll deploy this. Oh, let's save the function too. And we'll deploy this. Okay, now that that's deployed, uh, let's just very quickly review how this message is actually sent. All we had to do was add this code, which is going to send the message into the event hub. Sorry, the event grid. Uh, but there is one thing we have to configure further. My event grid topic URI setting, my event grid topic key setting. So these are found in the event grid itself. We can see that this is the topic URI. Let's copy that, and we'll define both of those in the configuration. And I've already defined them. So here's my topic key and my URI. You can take a look at it. Um, this is the actual this is the actual URI that I got from the 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 topic endpoint, and then the access keys are here. So you can copy it. This is the one I copied. So I copied both of them in and saved them. Okay, now that those are in place, we should be able to test it. So I can click on test and I say run. Now this will connect to my logs. We'll send it again. Yeah, so I'm, I'm seeing this, this blue line and I don't see any reds, which means that it actually succeeded. Let's go see what happened in the logic app. And it looks like it failed. Let's go check out why it failed. So uh, if you click into the logic app, you can actually see the history. And I did run it twice. Um, looks like it's the last one, create file. It did get the message. Um, we can see tag one, tag two uh, that came in. And here looks like it's complaining that the specified share test does not exist. So if we, if you recall, the logic app itself was trying to create a file under this folder called test. Right. So if we look at the create file, it's using this folder path called test. And so that file share does not exist. We never created it. So let's go quickly create that and then we'll test it all over again. And we'll add one called test. Accept all the defaults. We've created the file share. Let's try sending the message again. Now you see this says this is always said 200 because the message was sent into the event grid, and then event grid called the logic app. The logic app is what had the problem. So where's our logic app? And this time it succeeded. And it took 1.84 seconds in the end. And like. Let's go look at the storage account test. And sure enough, I see this file in here. There it is, and it was just created. So that was easy. We created an event grid topic. We created a logic app. We connected those two together. We created a function, deployed it. We borrowed some code from the documentation in Azure, and then we tested it. And we actually saw that it failed. Uh, and but we were able to see the error message and as well as correct it. And all of this was serverless.